Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And Woo! Let's get the performance here, the frequency sweeps, and see how it sounds. Check out the suspension. See what we hear in an open air environment. Not that the subwoofer is designed to be utilized like this, particularly DD subs. DD subs are tailored in a different way than most people tailor their subwoofers. And that some people actually want, they make a, a given perform. They, give, they go with TS parameters to give you a given desired result in the sub, but then can't make a box to make it perform. DD does it the opposite way. And the opposite way of is that is this. I wanted to play in this size box, between this box range, with this my port area. The DD box. <laughs> I'm gonna divide a subwoofer that can work in those volumes because whoever moves the most air, it's gonna be the loudest. And I wanted to sound good. Check out this. Let's start off with 10 second sweep, 10 to 20 hertz. So it's gonna go, in 10 seconds, we'll go from 10 to 20, and then back in 10 seconds. Powered by the Falls Gate, 12.1, and my 60 amp power, uh, a power supply. So it might be getting about maybe three, 400 watts, possibly. I don't know, it could be getting the rating. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go. 10 hertz. 15. 8, 19, 20. Back. Back. And now we're heading back up again. Notice how quiet it is. That's what I want. Look how quiet it is. Mm. Okay, I'll stop that. Let me try to see that dust there. That's that DD sound there, baby. We just quiet. Just quiet for no reason at all. Let's go all the way up to 30 hertz from 10 hertz in 10 seconds. Really finna work it now. Really finna work the suspension. Remember this one has a dual spider. Let's go with it. No, 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 no. Okay. I said I'm gonna stop the frequency right now, baby. I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna work it now, baby, from 20 to 40 hertz in 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna take from five hertz. Does it have a response from five hertz to forty hertz in ten seconds? Let's see. Maybe that. Maybe that's too much. But we're going to see. Go with it. Nice. 
Let's do it again. Let me see it go on. From 5 hertz. We still got response to 5 hertz. Put something to y'all attention. When we go below 20, we just want to see if the, if the voice core can is sensitive enough to catch it. A lot of times, people think you're getting a lot of throw at 20 hertz. And it's, when look at the response, people like the meter and big, big systems at 20 hertz. But you do realize the wolf is actually moving less the further you go down the frequency. Five times a second, 10 times a second, 20 times a second. 30 times a second. As you're going up, the woofer has to move more. So, for example, here I'm going from 1 hertz <laughs> to 10 hertz in 10 seconds. Watch how very little the woofer moves. Isn't moving. It's 1 hertz. It's one hertz, one time a second. And we're going back up. You see how the wolf is actually starts to move at five hertz. Okay, let me show you that. I'm gonna go one. Oh, you won't even do that. Two hertz. Two hertz to five hertz in 10 seconds. No movement. No movement. Now let's go from 5 hertz to 10 hertz in 10 seconds. Now you're seeing the wolf is starting to move. You're actually going to get movement. When people say, I'm, I'm doing this at, four, at 5 hertz, I'm doing a 150. Oh, yeah, the wolf ain't moving. <laughs> Wolf ain't moving. I be mean, sometimes I go to Facebook. I hear these outrageous claims. I say, yeah, you move that much. I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing one fifties at fifteen hertz. Let me show the movement of fifteen hertz, y'all. Fifteen hertz. Fifteen hertz. Play. That's all the movements you get. Fifteen times a second. Weird, eh? Okay. So, as you go down, and this woofer has a response, as I've showed you, from 5 to 15 hertz. We're starting off at 5 right now. 7, 8, 9. We're going up. And we're at 15. You understand? 12 inch subwoofer. I think it is 599. This is their step up. This is the intermediate level sub. With that much to play this video back so you can see how quiet it is. In closing, I'm going to let it go out playing from 5 hertz to 50 hertz in 10 seconds. Once you notice how quiet it is. Oh, what happened? Did I hear you? Oh, man, my bad. I'm sorry, I hear you. <laughs> DD, baby. DD, baby. In my frequency range, I just wanted to be able to play from 25. This is what this this is what I'm interested in from 25 to about 38. This is the bass I love right here. Bam! What you do here, baby? Play with it. Yeah. This is what I like. 